Howdy guys, how's it going? So, if you can't tell by that pretty little number in the right hand corner, I'm on round 98. We're about to take and kill this dude right here. Just end his nice little daily stroll with one legged stroll. Round 99, and if things do go according to my calculations, this round should be a dog round, which should launch us right in to the triple digits. Now, this whole game. I have been using the machete and uh, the un anything done to it die shockwave because I've mainly been using the machete and here's the doggo. So let's get that. I actually use a shockwave with the dog just because it's like it's a lot easier to deal with the dogs whenever you have a projectile. But this was not a planned endeavor by any means. I actually hopped on just to level up the machete a little bit. I was going to go to like round 30. But then things, I just. I got in the groove of it, and even though I've been awake now for close to 24 hours, uh, I just decided, you know what, screw it, I'm going to roll with it, sleep deprivation aside, and uh, I'm going to go for the 115 run. So what I wanted to do is take and get the round 99, uh, well, just the, like the round 100 on the uh, on the video. We might play through it, might not, I don't know, but then I am going to take and hop on stream. Uh, I just want to go ahead and get the triple digit documentation out of the way because I haven't really set aside like when the you know when the game first dropped at least for me on PC I was having a lot of issues with the game crashing I haven't had that problem since season two dropped but there we go there's round 100 why is it not fitting on my screen like my safe my safe area is 100% where it's supposed to be. I guess you know what most people don't get the old triple digits on there anyway so it don't fit like that's not my recording thing that's like actually not fitting on my screen properly but anyways there's round 100 so let's take we'll play into it a little bit now the thing is the stream's going to be boring as all get out compared to what it usually is even right now with me as tired as I am trying to um, trying to do commentary and level these guys up appropriately uh, it's not it's not going down so when I say I'm using the machete the the reason why I'm able to use the machete up into this point in the game first off I got it all the way tiered up in terms of the damage it got it triple packed but all that doesn't mean Jack diddly because I've got the tier four uh, die, die wire die wire the electric shock do jig on here which it, it's honestly better than the wonder wife bro it, you got unlimited ammunition you don't have to, uh, you don't, I mean, you don't have to, like, you know, it ain't like the die machine where you have to risk your life. You just kind of have to give it a couple seconds, and then you basically have, like, an electric trap in your hands, uh, like from BO1. It's going to be really funny if I go down while I'm trying to explain some of this stuff to you. Uh, but yeah, look, so I mean, I'm probably going to upload this anyways just to have, uh, you know, a nice little, a nice little video. So this is my first triple digits on this game, first real attempt that I've done with it. Um, because all the other times I run into technical issues like with either the game crashing or just something look at that I'm glad you got to see that at the very least so you can see how I recover from this kind of here situation because I do have it down to a pretty good System we take we hit we hit our do jig there uh, We like basically you know like our field upgrade variation We have a heli chopper to be our backup filler so that you know if we get another tight spot like I definitely don't want to get a tight spot like why I'm doing this because that would be very bad but then in order to recharge our um, or, or you know our um, ether shroud thing again we all we gotta do is like just get a couple of slashes in with this thing it'll kill a bunch of them it'll recharge it quite a bit and then we call in the chopper gunner and we can finish charging it up and then Bob's your uncle bro we just on our way to uh, just to having a great day. Even right now, if I went down on case, I'm really tired. I'm really surprised that I've, I've been able to perform like I am performing. And this machete here, when you got to upgrade it like this, it's still it's like a one knife all the way on to round 100. So, you know, if you're looking for something to take and, you know, just chop your way through the undead on this game, go for this. So, after I do it on this map, uh, it's definitely probably going to be like a week or so if I had to guess, but I will do like a round 115 run on Firebase, on, yeah, Firebase Z. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Got to figure out how to deal with that big old feller. But after playing Outbreak and such, doing the uh, doing this would just come a lot uh, a lot easier, honestly. Like I don't know, just something about once you get into those higher uh, round challenges and stuff on Outbreak, it, it kind of helps you get a better feel for the uh, for like the hectic, just the faster paced movement mechanics of the zombies, which like once you get to this level. Um, I mean, they're pretty much as fast as they can get to my understanding, but then again, I could be wrong. So we've already got our teleportation do jig back. 
And I am going to take advantage of that here in a second. Please don't whack me, brother. Thank you very much. That guy right there, is, he's just 110% yoked out, if you know what I'm saying. So we're going to come over here. We're going to take and pop this and teleport forward a little bit. Come over here, get our little self-revive kits. Hopefully these guys don't come in here and just bum rush my hole right there, my little hole in the wall. And then we're just back in action. So now since we got a self-revive kit, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to see if I can rebuild it back up just by slicing and electrocuting some of these fellers. And then, uh, you know, if, if things get a little too hairy, we'll just call in the helicopter and then we'll build our thing back up just so we have that get out of jail free card. Because the ether shroud it is, I mean, I know like with the new, like the new thing you got and then everything else, like the new one they come out with. And a lot of people like the Ring of Fire, but the Aether Shroud is really, it's just, I love it, bro. And, and now with the fact that you can upgrade it even more, uh, to where you can have like two of them in your back pocket at one time, uh, I'm definitely going to be upgrading it with that. I mean, after this, I'm going to have enough, you know, ethereal, like, crystals and, and all this other, not ethereal, but just like the, the, the Aether Shroud, the Aether Crystals, whatever it's called, Jesus Christ, can't even process thoughts at this current time and moment in space. Oh, thank you so much for that body armor, bro what I needed. I needed to take and cover my tits. Okay, let's take and just slice and dice. Bro, look, I mean, just look at the carnage. Just look at the left-hand side at all the, or I, not the left-hand side. I'm used to multiplayer. Right there in the kind of offset to the middle right side. Just dropping all them bodies, bro, all at one time. Thanks to this nice little electrical dagger thing that we got right here. I mean, a machete, you know, straight from the Vietnam jungles. You just poke them right in the chest one good time. And it seems like, I mean, this thing, it does not take long to recharge at all. It's like, uh, yeah, I mean, when you compare it to, like, the death effects, which is what I still call them, I think they might just be called, like, weapon upgrades or ammo upgrades, but uh, in this case, it's a weapon upgrade, because I don't know, last time I checked, you know, this machete right here ain't, ain't choking down no bullets, so, you know, that definitely kind of lends to you having plenty of funds in your account right down there in the left-hand corner to back yourself up in the event that you got to re-perk up as we find ourselves having to do from time to time. I'm glad that I've got a Quicker Vibe Jug and the uh, Elemental Pop as my top three. So as soon as I, I kind of wish instead of Elemental Pop, I had Stamina up as my top three, but since this is our main area to run around, uh, you know, it's just sitting right there chilling, so it's pretty easy to restock on that uh, as long as, you know, we have our, uh, our Ethereal Shroud do jig. So, you know, it's nothing. The dogs is, is honestly like the biggest problem. I, uh, originally, I had an issue with them guys shooting me, but I've got pretty good at deflecting that. But you really have to watch the dogs because what will happen is they'll get these like these nice little double hops on you. And if you got two dogs just nipping at your butt cheeks, bro, that you got to like there's not a lot you can do. Plus, when you're using this machete, they have a tendency to like jump to your right or left side, but somehow they, like, it's still in your hitbox. So they hit you. And then your, your your melee like swipe or whatever just just completely misses. I mean, just misses. I'm 110 percent. So uh, there's it's just one of those unfortunate little little things that goes down. But there's not a lot you can do about it. So anyways, look, we're going. This is what I'm gonna do. So like we've been. It's gonna take me a second to get through round 100. So I think what I'm gonna do is since we've already got this playthrough video part out of the way and you, you you've got some i've got you know more than enough time of me just sitting here talking to myself um what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause it and i'm going to hop on stream so odds are if you was in the stream it's already over and you're this will be i don't know how i want to do this if i even want to do it but if I don't make it to round 115 and i'll probably just upload this but the stream will still be available too so look that's an oh a nuke Look at that, bro. Just look at... They just... They put that there to tease me. I don't even think it dropped a second ago. I think they just had that on there so I could see it and it could go away. Uh, but look, that's... You know what I said. That doesn't matter. So look, anyways, guys, always thanks for watching. Be sure you got them notifications turned on so that whenever I do stream and such, you can... Uh, you'll know firsthand. And also, if you want... Sometimes that don't even work, so... If you want to be added to the private Discord, all you got to do is hit me up in the comment section and I will shoot you a private invite link to the private Discord. So you can chat and hang out with us and all the homies and be like, oh, def like, as soon as stuff goes down, I put up stuff in the Discord to let you guys know. Sometimes even a little bit of an early access to the videos. So look, once again, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share your friends. And until the next one, adios.